When I looked at your record, you talk about big government and how opposed you are to it, but you seem to have a different attitude about your own congressional district. For example, the Congress decided to send billions of dollars to victims of Hurricane Katrina. Guess how Ron Paul voted? Quote, is bailing out our people that choose to, chose to live on the coastline a proper function of the federal government, he asked, and you, you said no. And yet this, Paul's current district, which includes Galveston and reaches into the Brazoria County, draws a substantial amount of federal flood insurance payments for your own congressional district. This is the Houston Chronicle. Representative Ron Paul has long crusaded against a big central government, but he also represented a congressional district that's consistently among the top in Texas in its reliance on dollars from Washington. In the first nine months of the federal government's fiscal 2006 fiscal year, it received more than $4 billion. And they report, the Wall Street Journal, 65 earmarked targeted projects, $400 million, that you have put into congressional bills for your district, which leads us to the Congressional Quarterly, the earmarked dossier of Dr. No. There isn't much that Ron, Dr. Ron Paul thinks the federal government should do. Apparently, though, earmarks for his district are okay. <laughs> yes. Paul is the sponsor of no fewer than 10 earmarks in the water resources bill, all benefiting his district. The Gulf Intercoastal Waterway, $32 million. The sunken ship you want to remove from Freeport Harbor. The Bayou Navigation Channel. They talk about $8 million for shrimp fishermen. You, you know, why, you, why would you load up? You got it completely wrong. I've never voted for an earmark in my life. No, but you put them in the bill. I put them in because I represent people who are asking for some of their money back. But it doesn't cut any spending to vote against the earmark. And the Congress has a responsibility to spend the money. Why leave the money in the executive branch and let them spend the, the money? That's like saying you voted for it before you voted against it. Nah, you, come on, Jim. You, that, that has nothing you, to do with it. You that. put it in the bill and get the headlines back No, I, I make the request. Home, They're not in the you, bill. Then you know it's going to pass Congress, and so you, you, you don't refuse the money. Well, no, of course not. It's like taking a tax credit. If you have a tax credit, I'm against the, the tax system, but I take all my tax credits. But if you I want to get their money back for the people. If you were philosophy, you would say no pork no, spending in No, no, that's district. not it. They steal our money. That's like saying that people shouldn't take Social Security money. For I don't advocate that. All right, let me I ask try you to this. save the system, make the system work. Let me ask no, you I think you have it all mixed uh, up. Well, well, you're it, confused. It's, it's all facts. It's you're all, you're this, confused. This is the Wall Street Journal. <laughs> you load up the bills with special projects. No, no, you don't. You do. You deny that you have... You have How many of them have ever got passed? But the whole point is, is we have a right well, and an obligation. They pass. You vote against no, them, but look, you take them. No, you don't quite understand. Okay. They take our money from us, and the Congress has the authority to appropriate, not the executive branch. And I'm saying that I represent my people. They have the request. It's like taking a tax credit, and I put it in. The whole process is corrupt. All right, let me ask so you that. I vote against everything. But it I vote against it, so I don't endorse but, the system. But when it passes, overwhelmingly, you take the money back home. I don't take it. That's the system. I'm That's trying system. to change that system. To turn it right. around and say yeah. I'm supporting the system, I find it Rather ironic and Well, when you stop taking earmarks or putting earmarks in the, in the spending bills, then I think you'll be consistent. Let me ask you about this. Term, when, when term, let me ask this. Term, <laughs> term limits. You ran on term limits. I think we should have term limits for our elected leaders. You've been in Congress 18 years. But I never ran on voluntary term limits. There's a big difference. I didn't sign a pledge for a voluntary term limit. Matter of fact, some of the best people that I worked with who were the most principled came in on voluntary term limits. Some of them broke their promises in some den, and they were very good people. So some of the good people left, and it's true. I, I didn't run on that, Tim. You're wrong on that. I support term limits. You know, I, I, and I voted for all. We had 16 votes one time on term limits, and I yeah. voted yes for them. But the, the voluntary term limits is a lot different than compulsory term limits. We, it's good to have a turnover, but that isn't a solution either. It's the philosophy of government that counts. But if you it's believe always, in the philosophy of term limits, why wouldn't you voluntarily well, limit? Well, it's, 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 okay. it's one of those things that's not... I mean, you don't see that. I'm campaigning on that. I mean, I don't think it's, I don't think it's a solution. Oh. Philosophy is the solution. What the role of government ought to be. So if you have a turnover and the same people come in and they believe in big government, nothing good is going to come up.